This video will be about how the money and finance evolved from the barter economies during the prehistory to the digital currencies of our times. Covering the whole history of money in a short video is quite a difficult task and I will try to include here only the most important events related to our subject. The first human societies were operating largely along the principles of gift economy and debt. Here the gifts were not offered in exchange for money or other objects. Those who benefited from them were to return their service in the future. For example, if in a tribe someone had a bad hunting day, he will receive food from other members of the tribe, provided he will do the same on good days. The barter system appeared much later. With barter, an individual possessing any surplus of value, such as a measure of grain or a quantity of livestock, could directly exchange it for something perceived to have similar value or utility. Bartering involves a lot of work. First of all, finding someone who is specifically interested in what you have and ensuring that you can both agree on a proper value for your transaction. This can be very impractical on execution, as not always you'll find someone that needs what you have, and maybe for that someone is not worth that much anyways. Bartering was most of the time practiced either between complete strangers or potential enemies. More than 30,000 years ago, humans began to use tally sticks made from animal bones to record and document numbers quantities, or even messages. The first traces of accounting have been found in Mesopotamia dating back more than 7,000 years ago. It shows lists of expenditures and goods received and traded and may be related to the taxation and trading activities of temples. Before coin money was invented, seashells were a medium of exchange. The shells were used as jewelry, and many societies in South Asia and Africa have used cowrie shells as currency until the 20th century. Because of this, cowrie shells were not only known as the longest used currency in history, but as also the most widely used. After the domestication of cattle and the start of cultivation of crops, in 9000-6000 BC, Livestock and plant products were used as money. Metals were available were favored for use as proto-money over such commodities as cattle, cowrie shells or salt because metals are at once durable, portable and easily divisible. The use of gold as proto-money has been traced back to the 4th millennium BC when the Egyptians used gold bars of a set weight as a medium of exchange. The establishment of the first cities in Mesopotamia, around 3000 BC, provided the infrastructure for the next simplest form of money of account, asset-backed credit or representative money. Farmers would deposit their grain in the temple, which recorded the deposit on clay tablets and gave the farmer a receipt in the form of a clay token which they could then use to pay fees or other debts to the temple. The Code of Hammurabi, the best preserved ancient law code, created around 1760 BC and enacted by the 6th Babylonian king Hammurabi, formalized the role of money in civil society. Fines and monetary compensation have been set for various violations of the law. From about 1000 BC, money in the form of small knives and spades made of bronze was in use in China during the Zhou dynasty with cast bronze replicas of cowrie shells in use before this. Aliatis I of Lydia was the first monarch who issued coins made from electrum around 600 BC. Electrum is a naturally occurring alloy of gold and silver called by ancient Greeks white gold. The role
Roman Empire was the first state to have the economy hit by hyperinflation. During the reign of Augustus, the silver content of the currencies was more than 95%, but over time it began to decline, especially during the 3rd century AD, reaching only 2% at the beginning of the reign of Emperor Diocletian. Diocletian's successors were unable to stop the economic crisis, which contributed to the collapse of the empire. In the 7th century, the first known paper money or banknote was first developed in China during the Tang dynasty. Its roots were in merchant receipts of deposit, as merchants and wholesalers desired to avoid the heavy bulk of copper coinage in large commercial transactions. The merchant banks, the first modern banks, appeared in medieval and early Renaissance Italy, in the rich cities of the north, such as Florence, Venice and Genoa. In 1156, in Genoa, occurred the earliest known foreign exchange contract. Two brothers borrowed 115 Genoese pounds and agreed to reimburse the bank's agents in Constantinople the sum of 460 bezants one month after their arrival in that city. The first bank was established in Venice with guarantee from the state in 1157. In 1472 was founded Banca Monte dei Paschi di Siena, probably the oldest bank in the world in continuous operation. In 1553, the French engineer Aubin Olivier introduced screw presses for striking coins. This mint produced well-struck and perfectly round gold and silver coins. Until this invention, the coinage techniques used in Europe had not progressed from the hammered coinage of ancient Greece. In 1602 was established the Dutch East India Company considered the largest company to ever have existed in history. The Dutch East India Company was the first company in history to issue bonds and shares of stock to the general public. It was the Dutch East India Company that invented the idea of investing in the company rather than in a specific venture governed by the company. The Dutch East India Company was also the first company to use a fully-fledged capital market as a crucial channel to raise medium-term and long-term funds. In 1661, the first European banknotes were issued by Stockholm's Banko, a predecessor of Sweden's central bank, Sveriges Riksbank. These banknotes were a form of representative money, which could be converted into gold or silver by application at the bank. Since banks issued notes far in excess of the gold and silver they kept on deposit, sudden loss of public confidence in a bank could precipitate mass redemption of banknotes and result in bankruptcy. In May 1896 was published for the first time the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the most well-known share index in the USA. In October 1929, after the Wall Street crash, began the Great Depression, the worst financial and economic disaster of the modern history. The depression lasted almost 10 years and resulted in massive loss of income, record unemployment rates and output loss, especially in industrialized nations. The highest rate of hyperinflation ever recorded in history was in Hungary in 1946, after the Second World War, affecting the Hungarian Pengue. The hyperinflation was so out of control that on average it took 15 hours for prices to double and 4 days, 5 minutes and 38 seconds for the Pengue to lose 90% of its original value. The Hungarian economy could only be stabilized by the introduction of a new currency and therefore on the 1st of August 1946, the forint was introduced at a rate of 400 octillion pango, dropping 29 zeros from the old currency. In 
1958 was launched the Bank America card, the first third-party credit card to acquire widespread use and be accepted in shops and stores all over the United States. In the 1960s, the first automated teller machines or cash machines were developed. In August 1971, United States President Richard Nixon announced the unilateral cancellation of the direct international convertibility of the United States dollar to gold. Since then, the US dollar and thus all national currencies are free-floating currencies. The price of gold per ounce increased from $35 in 1970 to $2067 in 2020. In 1983, a research paper by David Chaum introduced the idea of digital cash. In 2009, the first decentralized cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, was created by presumably pseudonymous developer Satoshi Nakamoto. In June 2021, El Salvador became the first country to accept Bitcoin as legal tender. <laughs>